As you all know, this project was made possible by an NDP government. We funded this school in budget 2018, and I'm so proud to see the school reach this important step of becoming a real building. But of course, schools aren't just buildings. They're made up of students, staff, families, and communities. And I want to thank the Minister of Education for coming here today. Minister, my hope is that before this building is completed, you will have reversed the cuts that you made to our school system. Your cuts mean fewer dollars for each student than they had in 2018. That would be wrong in any year, but it's especially cruel this year when schools are struggling, not just to teach, but to keep our kids safe. Parents in Castle Downs reach out to me every day and share how scared they are to send their kids back to school. I know our districts, our principals, and our teachers are doing everything that they can with the resources that they have. But this government's failed to provide the funding that they need to staff up and spread out. Many parents registered their children for in-person learning based on the expectation that they would get the same two, same two meter physical distancing that we expect as adults. But that's impossible without adequate funding from this province. Minister, please listen to students, families, teachers and staff. It's not too late to cap class sizes at 15 and keep everyone safe. I've met with the education partners um, as recently as yesterday afternoon and heard from, uh, from these education partners, particularly the College of Alberta School Superintendents and the Alberta School Boards Associations. They're the people on the ground dealing with the day-to-day -day, uh, situations within their own local context. And we have roughly, um, you know, uh, 740,000 students across this province. So there's a large number of students with a, a large number of parents feeling many different things but they they were able to confirm to me yesterday that uh, overall they feel things are going quite well that we have a really strong plan that the plan is in fact working when a case is identified that the proper procedures and protocols are kicking into into place and that uh, they are uh, quite pleased as to how the plan is is rolling out at this point in time we continue to monitor Every day I get updates as to what's going on and how we can make things better. And uh, working very closely with Dr. Hinshaw and her team, uh, they are constantly uh, ensuring that we get the information we need and that they are providing us the information that's necessary. And, in, uh, you know, yesterday they, they talked about the mapping that they are now introducing so that we can share with parents exactly uh, where the cases are that uh, come forward. So we're continuing to evolve, um, but we have a very strong plan and, uh, and from what I'm hearing, it is working.